Now I'm going to take my quick release skewer and I'll pull this little plastic part off. These are instructions of how to use a quick release skewer. We're going to go over that now. First, unthread the end. And take one spring off. Now I have the skewer with one spring on it and I'm going to put it through the hub. When I come to the other side, I'm going to put the spring with the small end in first. And then I'm going to put the cap on it. I'm just going to thread it on until it starts to get a little sticky. Now I'm going to come over to the bicycle and I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to put the front wheel on. You'll see that I'll watch where the disc goes through the slot. And just let it fall on there. This bicycle has a kickstand. I'll put the kickstand down. Now the bike can stand up. This quick release is a lever. To tighten it, you pull the lever up. You do not use it like a wing nut and crank it up. So to find adjustment, I'm going to tighten this side down until it just hits the frame. Then I'm going to pull this up. Now when it's pulled up halfway, it's too hard for me to pull. I can't pull it up. So I'm going to back this off some. Now when I pull it up, it's very easy. If it feels too easy, I can adjust this just a little bit and I can pull it up. Remember, this is a cam and don't tighten it up like a wing nut. You need to open so it's loose and then lift it up like this and then it's tight. Now I'm going to squeeze the front brake and I'm going to roll the wheel. I'm going to make sure that the wheel does not hit the brake. It seems to be hitting just a little bit. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. If it does happen, you can take a five millimeter wrench and loosen these two bolts just a little bit. Squeeze your brake lever and it will help that brake find center. And now when I roll it, it doesn't make any noise. And I can squeeze it and it's fine. Disc brakes are really great. Now you have your front wheel on